Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about SQL exists and not exists operator in SQL. So what exactly is exists? Exist operator is used to test the existence of any record in the subquery. So basically exist you use with the subquery, right? So you have a main query and within that main query, you can have the subquery as well. So subquery will be evaluated first and then based on the response response or the result returned by the subquery, the main query gets evaluated and exists operator or not exist operator are used in this sort of situation where you have this subquery evaluation. So with exists condition, we use subquery and if the subquery returns true, so whatever, say for example, within the subquery, you write a SQL statement which gets evaluated to true. Say for example, you have written select something from the database or from the table and that select statement is returning some values basically what it means is that it is actually evaluating to true so if that evaluation of the subquery is true then the main query will be evaluated okay so i'll explain everything with an example so don't get confused initially um but the crux of it is that exist and not exist will be used to evaluate the condition of the subquery and based on that the main query will be evaluated now what is the sample query something it will look like so select star from customer where exists right so this is main query so select star from customer where exists and after exists there is a subquery so i'm again evaluating another query so select start from orders where customer id customer dot customer id is equal to orders dot customer id so this is the subquery within the brackets and if this subquery gets evaluated to true then this main query will be evaluated what this means is that what here i'm looking at is select star from customer where if this is returned to true then all the rows from the customer table i'm looking for if this condition or the subquery within the brackets is evaluated to true what is non exist exactly opposite so if say for example whatever values are being written or whatever rows are being returned by this subquery the opposite of that will be basically returned in the response so it will be more clear when we go ahead with the example but exists is basically the operator to test the existence of any record in the subquery and if the subquery is returned as true then the main query will get evaluated the simple crux of it okay so let's go to the workbench and see this particular query so let me use this database right so uh, use rcv online shop and i have created two tables there right so customer table has the customer information and orders table has the order information for those customers right so if i say for example if we go to this example here now the sample query was select start from customer where exists so we need to have this subquery and if subquery gets evaluated then the main query will get evaluated so simply the most basic form let's go ahead and see that okay so if i say for example i want to select all the rows so select all from the customer right so customer is one table right where if i say exists okay so exists is the is the uh, operator that i'm using right so i'm checking something in the subquery so if say for example i want to check something in the subquery so i'll say select star let me write a simple subquery there so select star from customer so I'm using the same table here just to explain, but this is not how you will be, you know, mostly using it. So I'm just explaining you that you'll be writing a subquery. So select star from customer where say, for example, within the customer, I'm looking for certain information. So let me first see what all information is there in this customer table. So select star from customer. Okay, let's run this. And if say, for example, I'm looking for this where the customer ID is. So where cust underscore id is equal to a1 okay so if i evaluate this right so let's run this so you will see that what it has returned is it has returned everything from this table right so why is that the case because this subquery has found a record there right so this subquery is basically returning a record or returning true right so if i run this separately this particular query if i run this you will see that first record or one record has been returned so basically this is evaluating to true now if this got evaluated to true this subquery is getting evaluated to true then this query gets executed and what is this query the main query the main query is select star from customer right 
so basically this goes got evaluated to true right and that's why it has returned all the data from this customer table when we executed this so let me move this down here so that it's more clear okay so now when we executed this it has returned everything now say for example if i put certain value of the customer id which doesn't exist right and then execute this you will see nothing has been returned because this subquery is evaluated to false and because it is evaluated to false the main query is not getting executed so this is the first part to understand about the exists operator okay so the next thing is so usually how you will use this exists operator is basically so select star from customer so basically select star from a particular table and then uh, where we we can check multiple connections or co combinations between multiple tables so basically customers will have the orders right so in the second query in the subquery i want to select all the basics so basically this query will be something evaluated like i want to select all customers where which customers have the orders right so customer dot customer id has the order associated with it right so this is the sub query so if that's the case then in this case what we can write is we can simply say select a star from customer where exists right and in this sub query will say select a star from orders okay and where customer dot cust id is equal to order dot cust id okay and that's it with here right so now if i okay so there is something select orders orders dot customer id okay so that was wrong so if i run this you will see that it has returned the customer ids for which the orders are associated right so what happens in this case is this is the subquery which is looking for the values from the orders table right so this is looking for the values from the orders table where the customer id where, where the customer id in the orders table matches the customer id in the customer table right so this has evaluated to true basically right and then this main query got evaluated which is basically saying that yes uh, what Whatever this condition is returning if this has been fulfilled then based on that return me the values that are having that association between customer and the orders right so this is what the exists query or exist operator will do what not exist will do is so basically if I just change it to not exists what it will do is it will return me the customers for which orders don't exist right so it is as simple as that it is just the opposite of the exists operator so you'll see all the customer ids 5 6 7 uh, 7 10 and 11 have been returned because for those customers there are no orders in the order table right so this is briefly what is exists and not exist operator so the first example that i explained here was basically just to show you that it actually gets evaluated only if the subquery is evaluated to true or returns something then the main query gets evaluated right so similarly here we know that there is there are some items or some customers who contain or which contain the records right so this query is getting evaluated to true and the association is being met and that's why the main query gets evaluated and we are getting the results accordingly for the customers who have the associated order when we say not exist it's opposite of the exist so it will return the customer ids for which there is no orders in the orders table right so if we see the orders table you will see so if i say select star from orders it will return me all the orders right and the customer ids right so you'll see the customer ids here if you see that it has one two three and four these are the customers who have the associated order for themselves right so this is briefly what exists and non not exists operator are it's basically in very simple terms it is the operator used to test the existence of any record in the subquery if the subquery returns the records the main query gets evaluated and results are displayed accordingly if subquery returns false then the main query will return or it won't get evaluated accordingly that's all for this tutorial for sql exists and not exist operator i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching